Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's our Arcade here. Thought I'd make a video today to show you some net boot stuff on Sega Chihiro. And today's video is going to be on the Sega Chihiro Type 1, and then I'll do another video on the uh, Type 3. So, this is the setup. It would be basically a junky PC. I got like a really crappy laptop here, it's like an ARM CPU in there. Uh, I got the Type 1 board, motherboard. The Type 3 is very different, it's a lot taller, it's more like a box. This is more like a rectangle shape. And this is the net dim and I've taken off the little cover. So you need the 512 net dim for this. Uh, I need firmware version 303 or higher. This has got 402 on it. Once you've got it booted you can upgrade your firmware really easily. And you need to set your jumpers here. You got In order to make this unit boot off of this, you got to set the uh, jumpers to be just like that. And those are the only jumpers you touch. Don't go messing around with the other ones because you'll screw it all up. Of course, you need your Sega power supply. And you need your I.O. board. This thing doesn't work without an I.O. board. Pretty uh, fancy harness, huh? Okay, so this is uh, using a crossover cable. You can go into a, a regular internet router. Or you can... Um, do a crossover cable directly into a PC. That's what I've done here. And uh, if you do that, you just gotta set up your adapter on the PC. I'll just show you what I've done. It's real simple. You can just do this in a few minutes. Just go to your uh, your LAN connector there, your LAN adapter. Open the properties and go to the IP version four stuff. And you just gotta set up your IP address like that. 192.168.1.1 and then a basic subnet mask. That's it. So set it up like that, hit OK. At that point, you should be all good to talk to your Chihiro. But you gotta set your IP address in your Chihiro and you do that in the test mode under the uh, the media section in, or network section under um, core, not or media, not core, backwards. The core will uh, be for the unit itself. That's something you don't have to worry about. So I'm just waiting for this game to load up. You can see it's testing a game program. I've already loaded in Crazy Taxi and now it's just testing it. So it's just uh, finishing it up now and then uh, Crazy Taxi should show up here in a second. As far as loading these games on the PC, I'll show you how that's done. You can do this. There's a number of programs out there, but I prefer um, a command line one called Triforce Tools and uh, it's a free download it's you don't have to pay for it or anything like that you just need to have Python 2.7 for Windows and you need PyCrypto for Windows uh, once you have those two things installed you can get this Triforce, school, uh, Triforce uh, Tools script hold on here I'm just gonna try to go to the directory and uh, you run the script on a command like this uh, just type Triforce Tools .py, and then your IP address of your Naomi or Chihiro or Naomi or Triforce they, they all work the same Naomi 1 and 2 it's the same exact interface for all four systems so that's the IP I've set on my Chihiro and then you just type in a game name like I got Crazy Taxi right here so I'd run that and it would load it right into the uh, net dim. so Crazy Taxi's booted up And that's it, it's the real game right there. It's not like an emulator or anything like that. Instead of having to put in the GD-ROM, all I've done is simply sent the same exact info directly to the DIM off the PC. It's, NetBooting's been around for a couple years now. It's kind of an old service that Sega used to offer to operators where they'd pay for this stuff. But it's, uh, it's long gone now and you can, people have inverse engineered it and you can use it at home. So it's very cool for uh, playing these games without having to worry about bringing out your GD-ROM hardware. Now, if I was to coin up this game and try to play it, I could probably get as far as the selection screen and then it would crash. And that's because I don't have a network key installed. You see that key? That's a House of the Dead 3 key. You get, and then if I had a crazy taxi key, neither of those would work for this because you need a special net boot key and it would, someone has to build burn you one. Here's one here. And that would be inserted so that the uh, it would go this direction. 
a little notch there it would go like that so the notch is facing out towards the side of the network cable and what this allows you to do is there's some checkpoints in the games they're various and I think it needs to reach a gateway and it can't do that through the regular key it needs to have this special key in order to reach out or something I don't know that's what I've kind of assumed because it seems like all these games quit if you try to play them without a proper key and I would use that key but it's not working right so I gotta get a new network key for my type 1 I got I got a good one for my type 3 though so I'll show a video of that okay so really quick before I quit here uh, let me just go into test mode because I just wanted to show you where you set up your IP in here this is the test mode and we're gonna go down into network setting and you want media not core I'm gonna go to set IP address and just using your service and test switches you can set that up pretty self-explanatory and then you uh, you can test it out you can see your version your your gym 4.02 status good and that's it and then if you want to go to system information you can uh, see the region is unknown I've, I've changed my region if you keep going in and pushing service uh, it's not gonna let me do it right now you can change your region by pushing the service button 30 times in this screen but it uh, it sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't work I don't know why but anyway that's it so I got crazy taxi high roller there's the uh, the game test mode I can enter this and mess around with this but then I just can't play it I can't play it without that special key so I can't show any gameplay but but that's net booting pretty easy just got to get a hold of one of these motherboards I'm actually trading this one away so this is kind of a show-off video as well and uh, there's a lot of gotchas um, with these things if you uh, have problems usually the errors are because uh, this isn't seated good or the key isn't seated good or I've had a lot of problems with this power supply getting the voltages to be just right you'll notice this little status LED if that cuts off or it's having problems resetting and you see this cutting off or not coming on at all this is the media board status um, then there's a problem with the power I've had all kinds of weird issues getting this just right and now that it's just right it's pretty solid but uh, it's been kind of a bear to get going so if you're thinking about doing this it's definitely worthwhile and then you can plug this right into any old cabinet if you have like an outrun 2 cabinet I got one downstairs and I was playing with this last night this plugs all right in you can net boot on um, the type 1 was only designed for two games it was only designed for crazy taxi high roller and uh, house of the dead 3 but I can play outrun 2 I think ghost squad virtual cop 3 I had Wangan midnight maximum tune 1 on here I had a dim uh, firmware error on it but it would it came up and I think there's another game that loads on here Ollie King I think is the other one that loads so you can get most of the titles on here. You just can't run OutRun 2 SP, and you can't run the Sega Golf Club or uh, Gundam and Wangan 2. I think I don't think that'll run on here either. But this will get you. There's not a whole lot of games for your hero. So if you had a Type One, there's enough stuff to do. You get the killer app, which is OutRun 2. You can't link up on it, but at least it works. And if you have a Type Three unit from an OutRun 2 machine or an Alley King, those are pretty awesome because then you can run OutRun 2 SP and some of the other games so anyway that's it I thought I'd just uh, post a how-to because there's a lot of how-to's on the Naomi but people don't really don't typically have a lot of info on the Chihiro hardware so I thought I'd make a video about it it's the same exact process so if you've done it on Naomi it's the same thing here so that's it I'll do another video on the type 3 because that's set up just a tiny bit differently and then um, I'll uh, post that up shortly so enjoy see you later